Lesson 80. Let me recognize my problems have been solved. Hi there. What if you realize that the solution to every problem you think you have isn't something to look for outside of yourself, but has been in your consciousness all along? Wouldn't this be another perspective from a course in miracles worth exploring? Let's explore it together with Lesson 80. Let me recognize my problems have been solved. With yesterday's lesson, we confronted the idea that all our problems are actually different forms of the same unique problem. Lesson 79 Let me recognize the problem so it can be solved. As we stated yesterday, here's what our only problem is. We think we are separate from God. The only problem we have is that we're prey to the illusion of separation. When we're willing to recognize this, we realize that we have only one central problem, which has already been solved. Therefore, we can be at peace. Salvation simply depends on recognizing this one problem and understanding that it has been solved. One problem, one solution, and salvation is accomplished. Let's accept this and take our place in God's plan for salvation. Let me recognize my problems have been solved. Our only problem has been solved. Let's repeat this with gratitude and conviction today. We have recognized our only problem and allowed the Holy Spirit to provide God's answer. We have put aside all deception and seen the light of truth. We have accepted salvation for ourselves. We are entitled to peace today. No problem can trouble us anymore. But let's remember, all problems are the same no matter what form they take. Let's not be deceived by their many forms. One problem, one solution. Let's accept the peace that comes with this simple truth. Let me recognize my problems have been solved. Today, in our extended practice periods of 10 to 15 minutes, morning and evening, we will claim the peace we deserve by recognizing the problem and its solution. The solution is already within the problem. When we recognize one, we recognize the other. We bring our problem to God's answer, and God's answer cannot fail. We have accepted His answer, and so we are saved. Let's accept the peace that accepting God's answer brings us. Let's close our eyes and receive our reward. All our problems have been solved. We are free from any conflicts. We are at peace. Most importantly, remember that you have only one problem, and this problem has only one solution. Salvation is that simple, and we can be sure that it will work. Let me recognize this problem has been solved. Remind yourself often today that your problems have been solved. Repeat the idea with deep conviction as frequently as possible. Let me recognize this problem has been solved. If any problem arises today, use today's idea quickly. Let me recognize this problem has been solved. Especially today, let's be determined not to collect grievances. Let's be determined to be honest and not deceive ourselves with problems that don't actually exist. Let's never forget, there's just one problem, and it has been solved. Let me recognize this problem has been solved. Let me recognize this problem has been solved. Let me recognize this problem has been solved. How incredible is that? Are we ready to take this step today? Are we ready to make perception a matter of our choice? And to acknowledge that we have only one problem and that it has already been solved? Remember, we may find ourselves today grasping to find a solution to various problems. Yet let's just be aware of what we've been taught today, that we have one problem and the solution to our only problem is not something we need to look for outside of ourselves. The solution is within us, in our consciousness all along, and any time we struggle with understanding this, we can ask the Holy Spirit, which is our internal teacher and has also been present in our consciousness all along, to help us. We have one problem, we think we are separate from God and from each other. We have one solution, we reconnect with the awareness that this separation is just an illusion, 
and we ask the Holy Spirit to help us realign with our inner deeper truth. You're doing great! See you tomorrow for another powerful lesson. Quick reminder, if you haven't yet watched the introduction to this video series, be sure to do so, as it lays the foundation for our journey together. Just click on the video link that will appear on your screen shortly. Did you enjoy the video and find it helpful? Please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have a new lesson every day. And if you've been with us for a while, please consider supporting the channel. There's a lot of love behind these videos. Check out the video description for more details.